Hey YouTube, Zach here with Savage Traveling today here at the homestead. I'm out here in the shop uh, preparing my minivan to go on a couple day camping trip down to Kentucky and Illinois. There's a couple free campsites I found on freecampsites.net and uh, we're going to check them out and do some videos about them and do some free camping videos and do some minivan camping videos and whatnot. But today I'm just going to uh, talk a little bit about my van. It's a 2003 town and country. I've had it for like four years and I've drove the piss out of it like i put a bunch of miles on it uh this is the second set of tires i put on i just put them on about five or six thousand miles ago um i'm just going to give you a quick little tour of the inside like i said it's nothing special got the road atlas here we got a little bit of hand sanitizer trash here's my setup back here here's my sleeping pad i lay that down back here i got some bamboo up here so you can hang things and i also hang a sheet right here to uh, block this, you know, when I'm in here, and then I put up a, uh, a windshield blocker usually, but I probably won't this trip because it's I'm using it on the car I have for sale. And you see this uh, these little setups. I got a video on how to do these. I'll leave that too. Um, nothing special, guys. Um, you see how many miles the van has, right? Two hundred seventy-five thousand one hundred and thirty-nine. Um, and you can feel every one of those miles in this thing. It is rough. Um, like I said, nothing special back here. We got some expired Cheez-Its, I'm sure. They've been in there for like two years. Got some batteries for my fan. Got sleeping bags to sleep on. If it looks kind of grungy, it is because like I used to do a lot of music festivals and uh, I'm not doing so many this year because I'm getting ready to go travel the world whenever we can again. So, this is just stuff from last year. Uh, anyways, I'm going to clean this out. Anyways, um, I'm going to throw the kayak on top and just sort stuff some sort, sort some things in the back. And then I'm going to like recharge the air conditioner because I'm having a little problem when it gets like super hot. Like, because it's this last whole week, it's been like 95 degrees or whatever, 90 degrees. It's been really hot, uh, like a good week or two, like plus 90 degrees but my uh, my uh, the roof my air conditioner becomes intermittent like it'll be pumping cold air and then all of a sudden it'll click to like blasting hot heat right in my face and it's like Ugh. so i you know did some quick googling and uh it said i was probably just low on freon and i have some out here in the garage and a way to put it in so i'm going to show you guys how to do that here in a minute too because that'll be funny but first i'm going to uh throw the kayak on and i'll uh, just sort some things in the back and then uh I'll see you guys when we get ready to throw some free on in the, in, into the old uh, town and country.
All right, guys, I cleaned up a little, organized some things. As you saw, I got the kayak on top. Um, I'm gonna forego the uh, AC refilling today. Uh, I gotta finish this up and go get some things done, so maybe I'll do that another time. Um, granted, it's not 95 degrees anymore, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it doesn't, you know, blast me with hot heat <laughs> going down here tomorrow, but I'll definitely let you guys know in the next video if so. But um, real quick, let's just go over the van, um, like I said. I did check the oil. It looks good, ready to go. I got a new battery not too long ago. Uh, it went dead on me down in Nashville, Tennessee in a parking garage. I had to get AAA to bring me a new one. Um, it was a, it was a fair deal for, for to have them put it in and everything. Well, you see the front. I got some extra sweatshirts. I got a cooler. I got one more cooler like that. I, I take two coolers, like one for drinks and one for food. So, uh, and they both look just like that. Like I said earlier, I got some sanitizer. I got my water cup we don't open that door but I got a couple pieces of wood to start my fire with once I get down there I just in case I can't find any the first night I got my canopy there I only bring it when I'm doing camping trips now if I was crossing the country or something I probably wouldn't bring it just to save room but since I'm just going down for a two-night camp trip and back and I'm gonna be chilling and flying the drone and relaxing after I use the kayak or whatever you know so I'll bring the uh, the, the canopy um, like I said, I got my bed. I got a couple sleeping bags that I put on top of the bed and then like I usually put a sheet down or vice versa, you know what I mean? So I'm not just sleeping on that ratty old mat, but I bought that mat. It used to be about twice the size. It would fit the whole back seat here until I cut it in half and it just took up too much room. But I bought it at Walmart for like $100 like years ago and it's just a mattress topper, memory foam mattress topper. It's been great little uh, sleeping in the van stuff for sure. Um, I got, you know, pudgy pie maker. I got, uh, uh, you know, weenie roasters, whatever you want to call them, spits, basically. Uh, that's about it, guys. You know, you see my, like I said, I left that video up so you can see how I did those. Probably pretty cool. Uh, the kayak, I haven't had it out this year, so we'll see how she goes. But right on, guys, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I did to prepare for a camping trip in a minivan. I know it's nothing crazy, but I just wanted to let you guys know I am going camping. And um, if you want to see how it is camping in a minivan, please like and subscribe this video because the next six to 10 videos I'm hoping will be uh, minivan camping videos and free campsite videos. So if that interests you, since I can't be, well, I mean, I could be outside of the country traveling right now, but for the sake of traveling longer and farther, Hopefully in the near future, I'm going to stay put and just do some local stuff for now. So uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy.